Hello, my fellow T-Rexers. I hope you all liked meeting Terry, Ozzy, and Andy. Well, we'll talk a little more about them in a few minutes. But first, I have to take care of something. I was kind of rude last time in my other video, and I forgot to introduce myself. I was so excited to tell you about Terry and his friends that I totally spaced it out. I don't even know what I was thinking. So, well, to let you know, my name is Don. Now, that almost sounds like a uh, dinosaur elephant called the Megalodon. So, you can even call me that if you like. I don't care. You can call me whatever you like. So, something you should always do whenever you meet someone new who's your own age is go up to them and introduce yourself. Tell them your name. You know, and then ask theirs. If they just moved into a, a new house that's on your street or close by, or they just started school with you, uh, they're probably pretty scared, and you know what? They could probably use a friend. But never introduce yourself or talk to someone you don't know without your parents being there. That's pretty important, okay? Your parents can explain that to you. So, with your mom and dad there, what's your name? I hear a whole bunch of names. Oh my goodness, you guys are loud. And I hear Billy and Sarah, Tommy, Tate, Becky, Katie, Andy. Oh, hey, wait a minute. That's one of our dinosaurs' names. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm very happy to meet you all. And, you know, I thank you for being my friend. I bet you're all watching this video because... Yeah, you're probably like Terry, and maybe you're also like Ozzy and Andy as well. Well, you know what? I am too. Yeah, I also have T-Rex syndrome. So, I bet you didn't think that grown-ups could have it. Well, we can. In fact, I found out that I had T-Rex when I was around your age. With Terry, you, me, and all the other kids that have it, we share something in common. And that makes us all pretty cool. You know, there's, there's a lot of others like us in some way or another. And I think it's pretty neat that there's others like us. You know, it, it makes us feel like we're not alone. Something else that helps, uh, helps you guys out is that whatever you're going through, um, you know, I've probably done the same thing so if you have any questions you can tell your mom and dad so that they can ask me you know I'll be happy to answer if I can if I know what that answer might be you know I might even do it in one of the videos later on you never know so anyway we need to find out a little more about Terry and the gang so mom and dad if you'll excuse us for a minute we have a little secret T-Rex meeting that we need to attend to. So, we'll see you guys again in a few minutes. Hey guys. Hey, do you like watching movies? I do too. And so does Terry. And movies are never the same by yourself, so Terry usually likes to watch them with his friends Ozzy and Andy. Uh, but watching movies, they can be hard sometimes for them. When Terry is still, he sometimes notices his skin itching a little bit more, and that makes his uh, ticking act up, so he ends up doing that a lot more. Uh, and this is, this is tough on him, but Ozzy and Andy, <laughs> I tell you what, they don't make things any easier. You see, Ozzy sometimes doesn't hear very well, so he has to ask Terry what someone just said. So Terry is constantly having to repeat parts of the movie to Ozzy. You know, this this is called echolalia. I can't even say it sometimes, but echolalia. You know, Ozzy doesn't have a very good memory sometimes either. So, uh, you know, a, f a few days after watching the movie, he'll ask Terry again what someone said in the movie. And now Terry has a really good memory. And uh, he'll just repeat the line instantly, just like that. Uh, it's fun for him a lot of times. Uh, he, he can also say it in the same voice and accent 
as the person who originally said it. And this is called delayed echolalia. Uh, this is something that Ozzy and Terry do a lot of times uh, when they're out on, out on the playground with the other dinosaurs. Uh, they make the others laugh as they're playing ball or tag or whatever they're doing. You know, they're kind of random sometimes. Now, when Terry goes to the movies with Andy, eh, it's not nearly as fun. Andy is a bit distracting, and Terry misses a lot of the movie. Sometimes Andy will bring a book, and he'll, he'll actually read during the movie. Or he'll have some music playing that takes Terry's attention away. And sometimes Andy will sit there and point out different things in the movie theater. He'll have to look at it for a while just to make Andy happy so that he'll leave him alone. But when he's doing that, you know, obviously he's missing out on some of the best parts of the movie. After they're done, Terry sometimes watches the movie again later and still not remember anything from the first time that he watched it. If Andy is with him again, oh my goodness, he'll still miss other parts. Sometimes it takes Terry five or six times of watching the same movie before he actually gets the whole thing. But Andy is one of his best friends, so you know what? Terry doesn't mind. He just, like you guys, he just likes spending time with his buddies. I bet some of these things happen to you as well. You know, they happen to me too. Sometimes I can repeat words very quietly or I just think them, you know, instead of saying them out loud. And sometimes I'll use the lines and voices from a movie to help me with telling a story or even tell my friends about the movie. Just makes it that more entertaining when I'm doing that. You know, it can be a lot of fun and I use that like a special power, almost like a superpower. And not everyone can make funny voices or remember or words from movies. So if you're able to do that, <laughs> it's something pretty extraordinary. And sometimes when I watch a movie and I know Andy might be coming around, uh, I try to hide things from him so that he doesn't distract me so much. I'll turn off my phone and, or I'll put it somewhere else. I'll turn the lights off so that I can't see anything else and just focus on the movie. But sometimes Andy will make me think of something anyway. And you know what? I'll just start to daydream. And you know, then I won't be watching the movie. I'm off somewhere else. But hey, that's okay because I can always watch the movie again later or if I miss a short part, good thing about things today is that we can rewind the part that we just watched and watch it over. Not too bad, huh? Well, it's time for Terry, Ozzy, and Andy to go think of some other things to do. But you know what? They're coming back soon, and they're going to tell me some more stories that I can share with you. So in the meantime, if you want to share something with me or ask me a question, you can tell your mom and dad so that they can pass it along to me. You can always talk to your mom and dad about anything. Now, they're trying very hard to help you in any way that they can, but sometimes they just, they don't know where to start, you know, and unless, unless you talk to them and you tell them what's on your mind. That helps, that really helps a lot. So if they can't answer right away, well, you know what? They'll talk to your doctor or they'll go talk to someone else who might be able to help. So go give your mom and dad a big hug, okay? And tell them thank you for letting you watch and that you love them a whole bunch, okay? I bet they say the same thing back to you. Bye for now. You know, give me a good fist bump. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.